Takashi 69 so sad, man. So sad. You know, people try to be so hard in these streets when that's not even the answer. So Takashi, you get what you get, right? Good evening, YouTube land. Hope you guys are having a great evening. I'm back in the game with another video and welcome back to my channel, NC Tough TV. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this commentary. So we're gonna talk about Takashi 69 and I guess Takashi 69 woke up and said that he wasn't gonna live the rest of his life in prison, that he is snitching on sight. Yo, his own camp is not even off limits. You know what I'm saying? Takashi standing up in that jail cell and like, yeah, they finna catch these snitches. Y'all finna catch all these snitches because I'm coming up out of her straight up, snitching all day. And that's what I try to talk to the youth about. Not feeding into this rap dream that everything that these rappers portray to be, everything that they rap about is not fluid. It's just a game to sell records. They're poisoning the community with the things that they haven't even done themselves. Maybe they have witnessed, but it's not good music. And it's worse than drugs, in my opinion, because hip hop music drives the youth to drugs in a sense, because every chance they get, the hip hop artist is promoting it within their music. But anyway, Takashi 69 has allegedly dimed one of his partners out in the click. And if you guys remember, there was a beef that Chief Keith and Takashi was having last year. And an altercation took place in Times Square where there were shots being fired. And Takashi allegedly talked to investigators way back then. And right after he had that conversation, his boy in McKenzie was indicted on charges of having something to do with the Chief Keith shooting. Now, allegedly McKenzie was paid 10K to commit this crime against Chief Keith and two other men along with McKenzie and Anthony Ellison and Denar Butler have all been indicted in connection with the crimes related to Takashi. So what you have here is a situation where everything is about to crash and burn because Takashi 69 didn't want to take 50 Cent advice. He didn't want to take uh, Fat Joe advice. All these hip hop cats that tried to reach out to Takashi and tell him to lay low with that beef, he wanted to prove a point. And now everything that his music represents when he's telling people, yo, don't snitch. But yet and still, what did he do? He made the executive decision to snitch to keep himself out of harm's way. Now the cops are trying to investigate. Did Takashi provide him with the 10K? Come on. If this is true, where else do you think this cat got the 10K from when Takashi 69 was beefing with Chief Keith? Now, the two dudes that I mentioned that are also being indicted for charges related to this crime in Ellison and in Butler, Ellison is already in custody because if you remember, Ellison had already went at Takashi 69 and allegedly kidnapped him and assaulted him. Butler was just busted this past Wednesday by the ATF. So those two are already in custody. But the kid in McKenzie, they haven't, you know, got to him yet. And they haven't arrested him yet, but I'm pretty sure it's coming because Takashi is of the mindset that, hey, I'm not going down by myself. Everybody that's associated with me that had a hand in doing anything that I'm being charged with, you are going to reap what you sow as well. And I don't care if I paid you. I don't care what the deal is. I told you y'all finna catch these snitchings. And this just really proves my point when I try to talk to the youth. I go around and I talk to the youth and I try to tell them to make sure 
that you use what God has given you. And that's your own brain. Don't allow a rap star or anybody that's telling you to commit crimes is how you get your stripes in the streets. What matters is your education. What matters is how many books you can read. What matters is how many businesses you can open and, and make those businesses successful. And I'm trying to tell you, if I hadn't listened to hip hop back in the days and tried to prove a point amongst my peers that I was so big, bad and tough, I would have received my blessings a lot quicker than I did. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, like this, also share this video. And if you're new here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified of when I drop my next video. I'm gone.